Okay. Um, I saved this as body at the end of the last one. I forgot to say. So I think it's always a good idea to, as you've completed a stage, save that stage out, which means that if you make a mess, you can go back to the previous save version and sort yourself out uh, by doing it all again. Right, okay, so at the moment if I click off that you'll see that that's going, um, I'm a mixture of smooth and unsmooth. You can do this, just, could, you know, we're going to go smooth it to three, then that looks lovely, but we want to work on it unsmooth quite a lot of the time. You can go ooh, on the modeling shelf here. Mesh display, soften edge, and if you do that, it will just read as smooth, even though it's not threed. It's just one, but it looks smooth anyway. So that's kind of just a handy tip. So you can just see it smooth, even though it's not smooth. Right. So leg. Let's add a leg. So he's got two legs, but why would you make two legs when you're working on a computer? And you can use functions like mirror. So we're going to mirror the leg. So we're going to make one leg and then mirror it. And again, it's going to be a cylinder. So I'm going to come up on the poly modeling shelf and hit the cylinder there. And then go to its inputs. And where it's a subdivision axis, I'm going to go 8. So not as it is. 20 is the default. Um, radius, I'm going to try 0.1. And then, actually, let's just... Um, Come in here, move into the front view and just kind of get that W and stick it on in front of the leg. So I'm going to put it, it's um, the middle, somewhere around the knee. So I suppose if you come in this view and go there, you go, oh, the knee's around there, maybe. Ooh. Yeah, something, yeah, maybe. Right. Okay, so it's too narrow, so let's go, let's try that point two then. Beep. 1.25 yeah there you go that'll do, that'll do for now and height ooh let's just ooh around there-ish shall we do there-ish now um, normally I'd put in loads of sub it needs subdivisions up and down and it needs one for the knee so I'm going to put one in I'm not going to even put one in for the knee at the moment because what I want to do is it's got a bit of a taper on it and I want to be able to do that taper. The other thing, subdivision caps, just to note. Now I know I didn't do anything about this. I used subdivision caps on the other one to make curved top. But triangles are not good. We, we're going to deal with the triangles at the bottom of this in a minute. We don't want triangles, we want quads, which are four-sided faces. General, generally speaking, for animation, four-sided faces is where you want to go. It gives you flexibility and uh, you know, editability. Uh, four-sided faces, three-sided faces I don't want. So, what I'm going to do here, where it says subdivision caps, one, I'm going to go to zero. Boop, and then we don't get those triangles, which is lovely. We get stuff we don't want, but I'm going to dock this together. I'm going to delete that face. So, vertex. In the front view, select the top ones, go F, and go R. So F is to focus on the viewpoint, R is to scale them up. And we're going to make up the difference between there. We're going to bridge it. That's not, not the lady's name, that's to bridge. Right, and here, F, bring it into the drawing. W to move it down. R to scale it. Use the center one, so we're scaling in all directions. And pretty much put it on the drawing. Okay, cool. We're, we're kind of there. Now, F in this one goes... Ooh, we're nowhere near the drawings. W. Put it there. Which is great, but then... We're wrong around here. So the knees... Yeesh, there. I probably should have put a mark in for me. So I'm going to use the cut tool. Come here, go control, and put an edge loop in there. Go W to move, select those, and move them forward. So it matches the drawing. We come up, look here, get these ones, and move them back to match the drawing. Okay, so that's the leg made, but it's not attached, it's still 
two separate objects. I think I'll just just infinitely see the way this is gridded up. We would not mean we would like to have a nice even distribution of edges, but you also need a concentration of edges where it's going to be. So it's, where it's going to bend. So the knee is where it bends a lot, and so you need some more edge loops there. And really, you need a minimum of three. So we'll have a joint up here and a joint down here which will control this bit of the mesh and then that bit of the mesh. The knee is going to want to be about half and half. So you need at least something that will follow that joint, something that will follow that joint, and then something in the middle that will be 50-50, you know. And that's how the mesh, you know, follows the joints. So I'm going to use that control cut thing there. Um, and hold the control key. Or why not just follow the grid for now and just put in edge loops pretty much where the grid lines are, except for the knee. Do one above and one below. There we go. And so that's my distribution of edge loops there. And I'll actually just go, oh, that's a bit close. That's what I'm going to go. W, get these guys, move them up a bit. And forward and turn this in the right place. Okay, cool. Right click, object mode. Look at all these poly split things there. Delete by type history. Get rid of that. Freeze transforms. There we go. So it's a nice blank slate. Right. Okay. This is what we've got. We've got a leg, we've got a body. Now, when I join this across, I'm going to want to sort of like mirror it so I don't want this side of the body. So I'm going to come here, go face. Select all the faces on this side and go delete. There we go. So now we've got half a body and a leg. Now we're going to bridge these two things together. So we have to, before we can't bridge them at the moment because they're two separate objects. So we need to make them the same object. So I can do that. I can select that object, shift select that object, and go combine. That's there. It's also mesh. Combine is there in the mesh menu but it's actually on the shelf it's that thing there it's the two planes inside a circle so I do that combine so now look so now I've got polycylinder one polycylinder two and polycylinder three which is the com combination of the two these are input nodes for that so you poly unite is there and so um, what we want to do is kind of get rid of these other things the history so I can go Delete by type history. See those disappear, and it just leaves this one object, which is still two meshes. They're not joined yet, but they're one object. And because they're one object, we can bridge between edges on that one object. So I'm going to make some holes in it. Right. I think here is where that's going to join. So if I go face and go, well, it's going to be. It's going to be ideally, it wants to be up here, it wants to be these ones. I think so. That one, shift that one, shift that one, shift that one. Really, no, not there, not that. That one, shift that one, shift that one, shift that one is really what it's going to be. Now, we've got this nice tool here. See, this is a circle. I can go circularize, and that will do that. And does that weird twisty thing, which is not amazing. So how can I straighten that up? So if I go in the side view, go F, okay. can you just sort of go that way for me a bit? What about if you go, oh, we're all over the shop here, out there, there, there? What does that look like? If I come in the front view, yeah, you see, look, that's okay. That kind of looks like it lines up. Do that. If I hit the delete key, then that's gone, and then I've got a hole there. Okay, so there's been there's some pulling there that is not amazing. I'm going to get that one and go delete, and then put those two together. So if I go edge, double click there, and then Q, double click there. So I've got those two edges. I can go bridge, and that 
bridges together okay. It looks a bit weird because it's not right, but I'm going to add a division in the middle. So I'm going to go one division, something like that. Okay, now we've got to match that drawing. So, how are we going to do that? Let's come down here. Spacebar, F. Right. So obviously I'm going to get that vertex and kind of go, well you want to go out there don't you? And I can tell you really want to go there, so that kind of makes sense. Hmm, and there's some stuff not going right down here. Okay. So what could we do here? That. If I get those two, I can move those back over there. Right, this isn't working. So let's see what we can do with that. I'm going to come out here, look underneath there, and go, ooh, it's pulled all those things together, which is not amazing. So let's get rid of those. Face, that one, delete, 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 that one, delete. That one, delete. Okay. Too bad like that. So if I go edge, get that one, and get that one, I can bridge them. Okay, so I've bridged across there. That looks like that. But you can see, obviously, I need two faces there. So divisions, I'm going to go one. Now we've got that division. I can get that edge. Okay, select to move and pull that down. So that looks more like that. That wouldn't be too bad, would it? So now we can specifically bridge some bits and pieces. I can go edge and get that one and that one. Bridge those two together. Edge. That's cool. And then I can get that one. Get that one to go edge. And so that's remade that, but that's remade that looking a lot nicer. Although, you know. It looks a bit smaller there. So if I get that edge over there and go R, and I bring that in, so that sweeps in a bit nicer. That's okay. I think this looks very nipped in there. So I'm going to go vertex. I'm going to get that one, shift that one, and bring those out a little bit. Yeah, I think that edge loop. Now I've done that. Okay, so if I smooth that, three, what do I get? I don't get too bad a junction at all. Still looks a little bit nipped in there. So, one, it's that one there. So, that one. If I go into the front view, see they kind of misalign a bit. So, I don't want to bring them together front to back, but Top to bottom I can bring them together and side to side I can bring them together and I can do top to bottom and side to side. Top to bottom and side to side and that just look memes up oh, yeah. Just scaling it, so I'm not scaling it globally because I don't want to bring them together front to bottom, front to back, but I just want to bring them together side to side. And then we can just sort of like look at how these edges flow into each other. So that is a, a bit of a Jaggy change in angle there, so I can head towards the middle a little bit better there. And these, and can we flow around a bit better? See, because that goes up there. So if I do that, that flows around a bit better that way. And then that one flow a bit better if it went there. And that might be a bit better if it didn't go in so much. So I'm doing that from this point, but it might be better to go and have a look. What's that like in 3D? How's that look? Now, if I smooth it, go object mode. See that? That doesn't look too shoddy to me. That looks okay as a joint goes. I just think I need probably a little bit more bendiness here and look at our construction history that's really building there so for now delete 
by type history. If you need to find a different place for that, um, edit, delete by type history is there, that takes around. And if you've got a deformer in there but you want to keep it, you can do, you take out its construction history, but leave the deformer in. But, you know, delete by type history is there. Uh, right, so if I hit one, see that's not a bad distribution of edges. I just wonder if I need another one. Because if I do, I'd need to shuffle them. So if I'm going to shuffle them, I'll come here and go vertex. Bring these ones, bring these ones down, because they're down the leg further. They're then too big because it's from the thigh further up. And then once you've done that, you can just put another one in here, right there. Then if you're going to do that, it's like to move. Follow that a little bit better, and then you want to track these round. That's a little bit more smoothly. I don't know. That looks okay. Come out. See what that looks like. Now, if I go object mode, you can see that it doesn't know whether you want that to be curved or not. So I can now go select that and go mesh display, soften edge, and then that will display as a soft edge at low poly, which is nice. Then once I've done that, you can see oh, I've got a construction history in there. I'm going to delete by type, construction history. And now we've got half. And you want to know what that's going to look like with two legs. You can go mesh, mirror. And then you just need to check the direction. So mirror axis X, so we're in the X. We're in the positive, so we want to mirror it in the negative, which is cool. And then the only thing here is, if you're working small, which we are, you might merge border vertices here. So let's just have a look. That just means that it's going to nip them together if they're misaligned. So if I go here and go apply, just need to make sure that it doesn't weld stuff together in the middle at the top as well. And that is both sides done. Hit three, smooth it. And that is your body and legs pretty much sorted so now you need to go save as save as body legs or save as leg because you're only going to add the leg out or body leg because then you body leg foot I don't know as you make make it up just so you know what, what the stages that you're at and uh, yeah so that's adding a leg and uh, joining it onto the body and mirroring it. So there you go. Cool. Uh, next one, foot. So um, yeah, see you there. Bye. -bye.